Hello everyone, welcome back. Myself Rahul. Uh, today we are going to solve a problem of lead code related to strings. So the problem name is longest substring without repeating characters. So it's a very simple problem. Uh, in this we are given a string S. Find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. So in, in, in this example, the string given is A, B, C, A, B, C, B, B. So we have to find that particular substring which doesn't have any repeating characters and the length should be longest so if we go through it this can be one of the possible answers a b c because its length is 3 and there are no repeating characters in it similarly a b c can also this a b c can also be an answer but this a b c a this cannot be an answer because here a is occurring two times right so characters are repeating so the uh, largest substring or the longest substring is of length 3 over here similarly in this example b p uh, like 5 times b is occurring basically so we cannot have two characters over here b b because that will result into repeating sub uh, characters so the maximum length is just one here it is p w w k e w so if we start from p uh, we can have one substring as p w which has unique characters PWW cannot be the answer because it has W2 times. Similarly, KEW is one of the answers. And similarly, WKE as well because it has all the characters as unique. So the answer over here is also 3. So let's see like uh, what are the possible approaches to this problem. Uh, I will write down one of the test cases. So let's suppose example is B, A, D, C, A x uh, c d right so the brute force method for this approach would be in which like basically uh, we what we can do is we can start with each individual character and we can start creating the string from that particular index so suppose we start from the zeroth index and somehow we also maintaining we are all we can also maintain like what are the characters we have encountered till now so for that let's suppose we use set so we start from the 0th index 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so we are starting from the 0th index and then we can maintain what are the characters we have encountered so we have encountered b then we reach a we put a into the set then we encounter d then c then we come at a then we are going to check whether a is already present into the set or not so we see a is already present into the set so which means if a string is starting at this particular index so the maximum length can be b a d c so maximum length would be 4 now what we can do is we can start with the character a so the string in that case would be a d c a x c d right so we are not considering b at all so this is our starting position so now we are going to populate set again so in this we will insert a first then we go to d d is not present in the set we inserted it into the set c then comes a we see a is present into the set yes it is present uh, at this particular time we just take the length of the set whatever we have till this point so in this point the answer would be 3 so in this way like we will we can consider all the indexes as the starting part of the substrings starting element of the substrings and keep on creating uh, substrings out of it and simultaneously putting those values into the set and uh, I will basically check at each step whether a character is present into the set or not. So here the time complexity if we consider is like uh, we have to write two for loops one for outer for loop for basically selecting the starting index of a substring the inner for loop is for iterating over the like suppose the outer loop is starting from i then the inner loop would be j would be starting from i till n where n is the length of the string so the time complexity for this would be o of n square and what is the space complexity space complexity wise like we are creating a set uh, for which the maximum length or the maximum size of the set can be n only in which all the characters of this string are unique all right so this is the time and space complexity for this brute force method Let's see if we can uh, somehow optimize this solution. 
So if you observe this problem carefully, like we can somehow introduce the concept of sliding window over here as well. So let me write the string B A D C A X C and D. Let me mark the indices as well 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Right. How the sliding window concept works is like we maintain two indices J and I. So in this what I am going to do over here is like I am basically going to consider string whatever is present between J to I. So I will initialize my window starting element as J as 0 and I as well at 0th index. And here as well I am going to create a hash table instead of set that I created in brute force I am going to create map over here. So in the map I am going to maintain like what is the last uh, location of a particular character that I had encountered. So map would nothing would, would be it is of a char and int. So it tells me that for this character what was the last or the latest index that I had encountered. So when I started iterating over this input string from 0th index so in this map I will just insert b and here the, it would be index as 0. Then I increment i keeping j as same, i would be over here. Then I check whether a is present into this map or not, but it is not present then I am going to insert a. So a index would be 1. So here it is index, index in the string. Now I come to the character d, d is also not present into the map. I am going to insert it with value 2, then comes c. C is also not present in the map, so I am going to insert it, right. So uh, whenever I am inserting it, basically I am keeping one variable called answer, which is keeping the maximum value of substring j my, i, uh, i minus j plus 1. So what is the length of the string between j and i? Obviously i minus j plus 1. So I am keeping a track of what is the maximum length of the substring without repeating characters till this point of time. Right, so yeah, coming back, so I have an, uh, inputted C into the map. So what I'm going to do now here is C was inserted now. Uh, now comes I over here, I reaches here. So at this point, I search A into this map, but uh, A was already inserted into the map, right? So I can be pretty much sure that this string where j is at 0 and i was at 3 in this string no character was repeating right and that length would have been uh, basically placed inside answer variable that's not a worry for us so when i incremented i again so i reaches this particular a and then when i checked whether a is present present in the map or not it was present so basically if i check the map like what was the last known location of a so using this map i get that a was earlier present at index 1. So I go to this index 1 and so basically if these two uh, these two a's cannot be part of the substring the maximum length substring right. So to consider this a into that substring I have to remove this substring this a from that particular string right like these two a's these two a's cannot be part of the same substring Right, so I now I want to consider this particular a. So for that I need to remove this a from the substring. So what I can do is I can completely remove the part of the substring present to the left of this a. So coming back, so like I was at this particular index, I was at 4. I checked whether a is present in the map or not. Yes, it is present. I checked its index. The index value is 1. I go to the index value 1 and completely remove the string present to the left of that index and now I am going to update my j variable as this index plus 1. So my j will be pointing over here now because I don't have to consider this string at any point later on. right? And also I need to update this map as this one variable would be updated as 4 because now the latest location of character a is 4 instead of 1.
yeah so now my i variable is a uh, is over here so i check whether x is present in the map or not it is not so i inserted 5 now i comes over here so i check whether c is present in the map or not so c is uh, present already in the map so what i can do over here is um, i need to check what was the index of the earlier c right so i check the earlier last known location of c was 3 so i go to this particular location and completely remove this part of the string and i am going to update my j variable as this value plus 1 so the j would now move to this particular location and this value would have been updated as 6 now my i comes over here and i check whether d is present in the map or not yes it is present then what i am going to do over here is uh, i will uh, go to this particular index too yeah one more thing over here to consider here is like this is one of the edge cases so uh, coming back so like i was at this particular index and the character is d so i check in the map whether d is present or not right so when i check where, what is the value of the d so d value is equal to 2 uh, 2 actually right and the j value was j value was uh, this index right so j value is 4 so d was actually part of that string which was uh, already uh, neglected by me right because this part of the substring is already neck string is neglected by me and the last known location of d was 2 so I don't need to basically again uh, remove this particular string because this substring is already has been removed right so I just basically check if j is greater than d right so I don't need to remove it again because that substring was already ignored at this point I can just update this two value as 7 as the new location yeah this is the one of the edge cases over here right so let me uh, write the code for this yeah uh, let me rename it str and i'm going to write it in c++ so let me create variables called i j j has been initialized to 0 so j is the left part of the substring and i would be pointing to the right end of the substring and i am creating one variable called answer which is holding the maximum length of the substring i have encountered uh, yeah i will create one map which will be char and int so actually in this problem instead of map i can also maintain a array of uh, size uh, 26 or whatever is given in the problem like what are the unique characters i can have english letters digits symbols and spaces so i can have that as well but instead of that i am creating one map so let's name it mp and i'm going to iterate over this map starting at 0th index it will be str dot length so at this point i have, I have to check basically if the character present at the ith index if it is already present in the map or not so mp dot find it's an stl function i'm going to check if the particular current character is present in the map or not is equal to equal to mp dot end it means it is not present in the map that particular character is not present in the map so i need to insert that mp of str of i is equal to i uh, if it is present then what i had done was like i need to uh, ignore the part of the substring from that particular index which has the value from the map so what i have to do over here is uh, yeah coming back so let me just uh, refresh it or i can yeah so the string was b a d c a x c d right so this was in inserted into the map this was so b 0 a 1 d 2 uh, c 3 
then comes a again so i checked a whether it is present in the map yes it is present let me mark the indices as well yeah then comes a i check whether it is present in the map yes it is present so what i need to do over here is i need to check what was the index of it right so and also i need to update the j value as well so j value would be updated as so j value would be updated as uh, what was the initial value of the map for that particular character and i'm going to increment one to it right because j value was initialized to here and a value index was initially one so i go to this index one and ignore this part of the string so the j value would be one plus one which is two so that's what i'm done doing over here j value is incremented to uh, the last known index of that particular character plus one simultaneously i have to uh, update the map as well it would be i here i have to actually check one condition that uh, yeah the, the one condition what i have to check over here is like mp of str of i it has to be greater than or equal to j then only i am going to do these con these two conditions and if it, if this is not the case in this case i am only going to update the latest value of that character with its index into the map i don't need to update the j value over here so why i have written these two conditions over here is this condition the else condition is valid for this particular scenario when why when i was at this particular d right so i checked uh, that the d value was 2 into the map but that index d equal to 2 this part of the substring was already neglected by me when i had reached this c so i don't need to ignore that string uh, again so i just need to update this index value so the d value would have been updated from 2 to 7 i don't need to ignore the string altogether again because when i was at this particular c i had ignored this particular uh, string altogether right so this d this d was already taken care earlier right so that's what is being handled over in this else condition and uh, when this else condition so whenever this for loop is complete so i am maintaining one answer variable which was initialized to zero and this answer variable would be nothing but the max of itself and i minus j plus one and i'm going to return answer i'll submit it running this code okay okay uh, i think yeah the issue is uh, i need to update this answer variable inside the for loop not outside if i run it now yeah, it is done if i submit it yeah runtime and memory usage are fine so uh, this was a very simple problem related to the sliding window concept and i had previously solved a problem related to sliding window in strings as well so if you haven't gone through that video please uh, go through that and i will uh, suggest you to implement this solution by yourself and there are very standard problems related to uh, sliding window that are frequently asked so keep on practicing and i will see you next time with another problem thank you everyone